Can you believe that something so tiny has the power to create entire worlds? That's right. Today we're diving into the atom, the tiny superstar that makes up you, me, and everything we know. In this video, we're zooming way, way into the tiny world of atoms. These tiny guys are like the Lego blocks of the universe. We'll share jaw-dropping facts about atoms that will leave you amazed and eager to learn more. Such as, an actual Lego brick contains about 218 sextillion atoms. Don't miss out. Let's get started. All of those stars, along with everything else in space, all matter. Everything on Earth. Plants, water, diamonds, animals, you, me, and your computer, is made of tiny particles called atoms. It's hard to believe that something as big as a galaxy and as small as a grain of sand are connected, but they are. They were all created in a star eons before Earth existed. So, not only is the hydrogen in your blood, for example, from outer space, the hydrogen in your blood is the same as the hydrogen in the sun. Before we zoom into the teeny tiny world of atoms, let's see where they actually came from. As the universe cooled, after the Big Bang, early particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons began to come together. Roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled enough for electrons to combine with nuclei, giving birth to the first atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium. Fast forward millions of years, and these atoms began to clump together under the force of gravity, forming the first stars. Inside these blazing furnaces, the intense heat and pressure fused atoms together, creating heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron. When massive stars exploded in spectacular supernovae, they scattered these heavier atoms across the cosmos. These atoms, born from stars, eventually came together to form planets, including our very own Earth. Every atom in our bodies, the air we breathe, and the ground beneath our feet has a cosmic origin, tracing back to those first moments after the Big Bang. So, every time you gaze up at the night sky or marvel at the world around you, remember, you are a part of this incredible cosmic journey, made up of ancient atoms that have traveled through time and space to be here now. So, let's explore what makes up these tiny yet absolutely fundamental particles. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the tiny world of atoms and their cosmic connection, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing science content. So what makes up an atom? Astonishingly, even smaller particles. At the very center, we have the nucleus. This is the heart of the atom. It's like the atomic downtown. The nucleus contains two types of particles, protons which carry a positive charge and neutrons which have no charge, and so, are neutral. Surrounding the nucleus are other tiny particles called electrons. These are negatively charged and move in specific paths or shells around the nucleus. So what holds all this together? I mean, why don't the electrons just wander off somewhere? Well, that's thanks to electromagnetic attraction. The positive charge of the protons in the nucleus attracts the negatively charged electrons. This force ensures that electrons don't just fly off into space, but stay associated with the nucleus. Atoms differ from each other only based on the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons they contain. But differences here can yield crazily different results. For example, consider how different oxygen and gold are, right? One is normally a gas, you cannot see or feel it, but you can inhale it. Gold is solid, you can touch and feel it. Well, the fascinating thing is, the difference between these vastly contrasting elements is that oxygen atoms contain 8 protons and 8 neutrons, and gold atoms contain 79 protons and 118 neutrons. So, even though the difference between gold and oxygen atoms might seem small, it's this tiny variation that gives us the vast and colorful and infinitely complex universe of materials we see around us. So, now we know what they are. What does the universe's Lego block look like? I'll bet when you think of atoms or even in school books, you may imagine a structure that kinda looks like a mini solar system, right? A central nucleus with electrons orbiting around it. Well, I also remember learning it this way in school. But this is misleading, so toss that idea in the trash can. The truth is, you can't pinpoint where they are at any given time. It's like they play a cosmic game of hide-and-seek. They exist in something called an electron cloud, and we can only predict where they are likely to be, 
not where they actually are, and the forces that keep electrons in this cloud are the same forces that make magnets stick to your fridge. Nature's pretty consistent, like that. Another twist they probably left out in chem class, atoms are mostly empty space. Let's take a hydrogen atom, a simple atom consisting of just one proton and one electron. That all-important element of water, and simultaneously, the fuel that makes stars burn bright. Now, if the nucleus of hydrogen was the size of a basketball, the electron would be two miles away. In case you're scratching your head, yes, the most solid things you can think of are mostly empty space. So, the next time you bite into an apple or sit in a chair, remember, you're interacting with a world so tiny yet so intricate that it defies our everyday understanding. And honestly, isn't that just the coolest thing? Universal atomic consistency sounds boring, but is quite crazy to consider. Atoms are consistent throughout the universe. That means gold contained in even the most distant asteroids are structurally exactly the same as the gold atoms that found their way into your grandma's gold necklace. Cool, right? But wait, there's more. Why are atoms the same wherever you go? Scientists call this the cosmological principle, which is a fancy way of saying the universe is consistent no matter where you look. Basically, it's like the universe's way of keeping things fair and square. Oh, and this sameness? It's not a coincidence. It's governed by the laws of quantum mechanics, which are the rules of the game for atoms and other tiny particles. These rules are the same no matter where you are in the universe, kind of like the ultimate cosmic playbook. So, the next time you look at a piece of gold or take a breath of air, just think you are connected to the cosmos via these teeny tiny particles. I can already hear murmurings. Well, if an atom is made of protons, neutrons, and electrons, what are they made of? Well, now is where we get trippy. Inside protons and neutrons, we find even smaller entities, quarks. These quarks are glued together by aptly named particles, gluons. This realm is where classical physics gives way to quantum mechanics. So, imagine the protons and neutrons as jawbreakers. You know those multi-layered candies? When you get to the very center of these subatomic candies, you'll find quarks. And holding these quarks together like the stickiest of honey are particles called gluons. But here's where things get wacky. In the world of quarks and gluons, gravity practically takes a back seat. The laws of physics that govern our day-to-day -day lives don't apply here. Instead, we've got something called quantum mechanics running the show. You know how when you drop something it falls? That's gravity, right? Well, in the world of quarks and gluons, gravity is like that guy who shows up to a party but doesn't really do anything. Instead, other forces, like the strong nuclear force, become the lifeblood of the party. And unlike gravity, these forces work in ways that would make your head spin. To sum it up, the nucleus isn't just a dense core, it's a whole different universe governed by rules that seem straight out of a science fiction novel. But guess what? It's all real, and it's happening right under our noses, inside absolutely everything that exists. The Quantum Realm Just how weird is the quantum world? We hear a lot about conventional laws of physics falling apart in the quantum realm. But just how weird is this tiny place? Well, it's pretty weird. In the quantum realm, particles like electrons display both wave-like and particle-like properties. This duality challenges our very understanding of reality. It's like they have a split personality. Electrons are like introverts. When no one's watching, they behave one way, but when we observe them, they kinda stop and behave. Sometimes they act like waves, sometimes like particles. This weird behavior is tested in something called the double slit experiment, and trust me, it's as mind-blowing as any plot twist. This seemingly simple setup has profound implications, challenging our understanding of reality and the nature of light and matter. In a world governed by classical physics, one would expect that electrons shot towards the two slits would produce two bands on the screen, corresponding to the slits. This is the behavior we'd expect from everyday objects, like throwing balls through two windows. However, when this experiment is conducted with quantum particles and both slits are open, the result is baffling. Instead of two bands, an interference pattern appears on the screen, 
This pattern of alternating dark and light bands suggests that the particles are behaving like waves that interfere with each other. The act of observation. To determine which slit a particle goes through, scientists introduce detectors at the slits. But here's where things get even stranger. When the path of a particle is observed, the interference pattern disappears, and the expected two bands form on the screen. This suggests that the mere act of observation alters the outcome of the experiment. It's like the electrons knew they were being watched so, decided to behave as we would want them to. Final Reflections Our journey from the cosmic expanse to the atomic heart shows a universe of consistency and wonder. In every vast star or grain of sand, the story of atoms unfolds, binding everything in a tale of creation and connection. Everything and everyone is made of the same building blocks. Here we are, back where we started, looking at the awe-inspiring universe. But now, we see it a little differently, don't we? We've zoomed from galaxies filled with countless stars to the nitty-gritty of atoms, and guess what? They're all connected. Imagine it. A beach isn't just a bunch of sand, it's a playground of atoms. A star isn't merely a bright light in the sky, it's a cosmic bonfire of atoms. And let's get a bit sentimental here. From your morning coffee to the distant stars, from the air you breathe to the love you feel, atoms are at the heart of it all. You, me, and even your pet goldfish, we're all made of these tiny building blocks. It's like the ultimate family reunion, where every member, from a grain of sand to a giant star, shares the same DNA, atomic DNA. That's a lot to take in, right? Feel free to rewind and ponder. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.